Welcome back, Bulldogs, to the newest episode of BBTV. Just a reminder, next week's schedule is A Block Monday, B Block Tuesday, Regular Day Wednesday, and Senior Schedule Thursday and Friday. Engineering recently went to Worlds. Make sure to congratulate them if you see them. Here's Luke with more information. Robotics recently competed at Worlds. Here's how they did. We actually qualified at Arizona West Regional. It was a, it was a a lot of fun. We won the Rookie All-Star Award and basically that allowed us, that gave us basically 10 days to come up with the funds and the uh, time basically, coordination to get ourselves and our robot to Houston. Uh, we had a carpentry build us a crate within two days to actually pack up the robot and send us out there. But then we also had to raise about $10,000 through tax credits and through just about club funds that we could manage the scrounge together to actually pay for the event. Houston was a lot of fun. We got to meet teams from all over the world and we ended up in our division placing 34th out of about 61 teams, which was pretty good, almost half. Nice job, Robotics. This is Luke from BVTV. Miss Gibson held her last dance concert. Many dancers performed and some for the last time. Good job, guys. Last night was our annual fashion show called A Night in New York. Congrats to Ms. Hartfield and her students for working tirelessly throughout the year. Don't forget to stop by the choir concert the night of May 14th. Just recently, our drama students put on a performance of Legally Blonde, selling 15 grand and over 1,200 tickets. Hey Bulldogs, the drama club performed Legally Blonde on April 19th and 21st. The PAC was sold out. In fact, it was a big success, so here's a few moments. Well, it's irrelevant to assume that a honey and that costume is all in the red heart. Yay! Officially gay! Officially gay! 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 Yay! My first stop on a new round. Kind of cool karma, huh? Congratulations to the Drama Club. This is Britton Ballard from BV TV. Your books have officially arrived. If you ordered one, be sure to pick it up in the bookstore. Before the break, Queen Creek had another successful blood drive where students had the chance to donate blood and save lives. Before break on Tuesday, some of our students decided to donate their blood to United Blood Services. Here's a brief recap of the blood drive. This is Devin for BV TV. Every day marks the anniversary for at least one historical event. Let's take a look at this week in history. Greetings, dear friends. I'm Bob Ross. And I'm here today to give you all some bittersweet knowledge. So buckle up, and I promise, we'll enjoy this week in history, World War II at Edition, together. May 7th, 1939, Germany and Italy announced themselves as a Roman Berlin Axis. May 8th, 1945, World War II ends in Europe with VE Day, when Nazi Germany surrendered. It is still celebrated as a holiday. Got to get all the oil and paint off my brush right now. May 9th, 1945.
Czechoslovakia was liberated from Nazi occupation, which this day became a national holiday. May 10th, 1940. Nazi armies attacked the Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg. May 11th, 1943. The Hermann Göring Division in Tunisia surrenders. Do we have time for a bonus fact? Well, looks like that's all we have for this week. I told you you would enjoy this. <laughs> well, from all of us here, i like to wish you happy learning. God bless my friend. Take care. Hi, I'm Miss Hartfield. I've been teaching culinary and fashion here at Queen Creek High School for about seven years. My college experience started out at Community College right after high school at Arizona Western College in Yuma, Arizona. I got it all paid for with scholarships. I got rid of my general education courses that I needed and I graduated there with an associates in family and consumer sciences. Then I moved on to the University of Arizona, go Wildcats. I will always forever and be, be but I got my undergraduate degree in family and consumer science education which is why I can teach culinary, fashion, early childhood, and so on. And then I went on to get my master's degree in agricultural education. A uh, really big thing is all of my college got paid for. Why? Because I got those scholarships, because I got those grants. I worked hard so that I wouldn't be in debt for the rest of my life. Uh, what was my college experience like? I had an amazing college experience. High school is a great time, but college is a way better time. It's an awesome opportunity for you to actually like get out, be on your own, and be become what we call an adult, right? So it was a great thing. I highly recommend getting involved with lots of things. I started in a professional sorority. I was involved in a lot of internships. I did my student teaching. It was just a really cool opportunity to meet a bunch of new people, find out new perspectives, and then of course have a lot of fun. What I recommend as a high school kid going straight into college, definitely go to class. You're paying for it. Please make sure you get that. I'm Kate Nolliman for this week's Bulldog Sports Breakdown. Last week, baseball continued their state playoffs. On Monday, the Bulldogs would upset one ranked Mesquite to continue to the third round. The Bulldogs would then be defeated by Liberty. Monday, they would take on Mesquite again, but this time in the loser's bracket. The Bulldogs would lose 10-0 for their last game of the season. Boys volleyball would have to start with a play-in game. Last Thursday, they would host rivals Williamsfield. Their season would end with them losing three sets to two. Track and field would compete in their 5A state championship on Wednesday and Saturday. The boys' 4 by 800 meter team would win state edging out defending champs Campo Verde. Kevin Jackson would place second in the 100 meter and fourth in the 200. Senior Noah Clark would place third in the 800 meter dash with a time of 1 minute and 56 seconds. Senior Alexis Jones would place first in the shot put and second in the disgust. Tom Higgins would bring the silver medal for pole vault with a height of 14 feet 3 inches. Marina Bebe would win the 100 meter hurdles. KK would win the triple jump. Altogether, the boys would play second and the girls would place third. I'm Kate Nellman for the Bulldog Sports Breakdown. Hi, this is Kobe and I have a joke to tell you. Okay, so how many South Americans does it take to change a light bulb? A Brazilian? Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. I'm Lexi. I'm Cooper. And this is, is BV TV. TV.